Hello, and welcome to another episode by ES Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fix It. In this video, I'm going to show this one here, which pertains to uh, Windows 7 operating system and earlier. And then I'm going to have a separate one for Windows 8. This one here is going to pertain to uh, Windows 7 Vista XP. Um, what I'm going to do is show you how to get your operating system to go into safe mode. Now, safe mode is a good tool to use. It's a troubleshooting tool. If you install a program, updated a driver, did some updates on Windows, whatever the case may be, if Windows 7 or your operating system doesn't uh, respond or it won't boot up or it's acting erratically I'm going to show you how to get it into safe mode so you can do troubleshooting safe mode once it boots up it's only going to load what Windows requires to make it functional nothing else as I will show you here in a moment now there are different methods to get Windows to go into safe mode the the popular one is using the F8 key which in let me get my keyboard here and I'll show you right here you're gonna see the keyboard here now you're gonna see F8 right here this is the key that you're referring to it'll be on the very top row where you see F1 through F12 we're going to use the F8 key and what happens is is when we reboot the computer you're going to see the manufacturer's logo now to do this I'm going to show you when you see the manufacturer's logo for instance this is going to be HP uh, your case it may Gateway or Toshiba or Dell you will see the manufacturer's logo as soon as you see the logo repeatedly press the F8 key that I just showed you and then you're going to see Windows advanced boot options so let me show you what I'm referring to you click start and then restart Now, as soon as you see the logo, press the F8 key. You see this information here? Just keep pressing F8. Now, as you see, now my computer doesn't show the logo but as soon as you see the uh, the writing and stuff on the screen or you see the manufacturer's logo then you will see uh, that's when you start pressing the F8 key it's going to bring you to this window and this is uh, Windows advanced boot options and because my Windows 7 is default um, this is what it brings me up to now as you can see it gives me several options when you're going to do some troubleshooting what you want is safe mode with networking so you use the arrow keys on the keyboard and you can move the cursor up and down once you have safe mode with networking checked or highlighted press the enter key now you're going to see a whole bunch of stuff appear on the screen and it's going to look very very different now you'll notice that the writing and stuff is much larger than it was when you uh, was running in normal mode 
Now you're going to see the Windows Help and Support. It's going to come up. This explains what safe mode is, how to use safe mode. And you can scroll down to help you try and do some uh, troubleshooting. It gives you information about tools that you can use uh, and how to start it in safe mode. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and exit out. Now you'll see that you'll get safe mode in all four corners of the screen. It's also going to show what version of Windows you're running, the surface pack you're in, and you'll notice down here the icons are much much bigger. This is normal. Safe mode is only loaded what it requires to make it functional. Now you'll notice over here I got my Wi-Fi signal here. Yours would be different depending on how your computer is connected to your network or to the internet and you want to make sure that when you're troubleshooting you want to have network capabilities because in cha chances are there may be something you need to download or something uh, you can also uh, use uh, system restore to uh, restore your computer back to an earlier point uh, let's see here if I can find it you can do remotes, uh, you can do restore points, mine's disabled because one, I don't use it that much. Uh, everything I do is backed up. Uh, you have startup recovery, uh, you have access to a lot of stuff to where if you need to, you can go back and troubleshoot problems with your computer. Uh, you can also go into all programs, uh, accessories, system tools and you'll see your system restore now if you need to use system restore and then go through the process and it will allow you now when you get ready to reboot the system to normal mode to see if you fix the problem um, all you'll have to do is click start and then uh, click the uh, the arrow uh, for Windows Vista. You click the uh, the arrow and then choose restart. Uh, once you restart, then your computer will boot back into normal mode. Now let's say that you were trying to get your computer to restart in safe mode but you're unable to get to the advanced boot options. Now, it can be tricky um, if the timing has to be just right so you can get the advanced boot options uh, turned on. Um, I'm going to show you two other ways that you can get your windows uh, into safe mode. Now, if necessary, you can click uh, the start you'll see a search box down here just click in it you want to type in M S C O N F I G it's M S config now when you type it in you should see it pop up up here as a program that it finds now this is the system configuration program when you uh, click on it it should bring up system configuration when it comes up then you can, we can work with it now if you can't get it to come up let me go ahead and close it now another way that I'm going to show you is if the search thing doesn't work then you can do uh, the run command which I'm going to show you here you click start and if you look down here help and support you should see the run command however if you do not I'm going to show you how to get it to appear you right click choose properties Go to Start Menu, 
customize and then you're going to see a list scroll down until you see the run command which is this one right here click it and it's going to put a check mark in that box choose OK apply OK and now it's set click start now you see the run command in the start menu click it type in msconfig as you see here msconfig click OK and then it's going to bring it up this way too now once you have your system configuration program running click boot now depending on your computer's configuration you should only see one operating system now as you can see here I got multiple ones and I need to make sure I select Windows 7 then this way I can make sure that Windows 7 gets rebooted because here I can choose which operating system to uh, boot in the safe mode so I've got Windows 7 highlighted select down here where it says boot options put a check mark next to boot or safe boot and then make sure that you select network this way it allows you to have network access so if you need to update a driver or have a remote session done with a IT guy or anything like that this will allow you to have network capabilities now once you have it selected choose apply OK and then you're going to get a message here click restart now you're going to notice all this is going to stream up again and in most cases you're going to see that message now once you're back in the safe mode of course you're going to see your window pop up here for Windows help and support uh, you can read through it if you want and I'm going to go ahead and just exit out of it now here we are back in the safe mode now the thing to keep in mind if you use the F8 key then only thing you need to do is click start and then restart your computer and it will automatically go back to normal however if you use the system configuration that I just showed there's an extra step that you have to perform now to do that you just click start you'll see your run command or your search uh, if you do your search you should be able to find msconfig and what happens oh wait a minute misspelled it you should see it reappear and then you can click on it and start it uh, or just click the run command depending on how you access the system configuration that I showed a moment, a moment ago you click run you'll see MS config is still there and you'll also see that it will require administrative privileges now as long as you're signed on as an administrative account you'll be able to make the changes click OK and here you see the system configuration now you just go back to boot you'll notice here where it says safe boot you want to remove it here I've got Windows 7 in safe mode 2 I need to remove that let me check make sure the other one isn't okay none of them are now your computer is different the only reason this comes up like this is because I have three operating systems on this computer 
but yours should just be the only one on there. Uh, so just make sure that the check mark and safe boot is removed. Choose apply. Okay. And now you get the same message again. Once your configuration is done, go ahead and have it restart the computer. Now, once you have your computer restarted back in the normal mode, uh, you'll be able to uh, use your computer. And that is the three ways that you can get your Windows into safe mode. Stay tuned because I will have a video for those who need help with Windows 8. Windows 8 is a little bit different. And I will have a video online to help you... Uh, get that set up so if you need to get Windows 8 into safe mode uh, stay tuned I'll have a video up for that well thank you for watching the video this has been a presentation by ES Repair I am your host Mr. Fixit thank you for watching